Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Sharon, you're muted. No. Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Chris, and this is Sharon here with us from A Sense of Light. You guys can find her link in the description below. But uh, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're pleased to subscribe, welcome my baby dinosaurs. And so quickly before we begin, I um, received this deck from Elaine Lee. McCoon. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. You guys can find her deck. I'll be putting uh, the, the link to uh, the description below if you guys are interested in this deck. It's not finalized. The box does not look like this, but she wanted to give me a little head start. This was supposed to come on election day, but um, it was delayed because of post mail, and I'm sure all of us can understand. That's probably how all the ballots went missing. But anyway, that's just for entertainment purposes only. And so we're going to jump right into this. This is an unboxing video. And so um, the first thing I would definitely recommend is you, st you put in uh, the sticker. I don't know if you, when you make the final box, is that you should probably put your name in here. So when we remove the sticker, as you see in the back, you don't lose your name and the creator of the deck. So we should definitely, like, whenever you make your deck, make sure you finalize it like that specific way. And so we're going to be opening this deck, and this is a deck with the Trump Tower and stuff like that. And we may, if we have time, I'll do a reading on this. Oh, I don't even have a time. Where's the pen? This is a lot harder of a piece of paper. Okay. Sorry, guys. So now we have here the United States, if you guys want, like, the guidebook here. But you have the guidebook. There's a lot of information. You guys can scroll through this. I have not opened this deck before, so this is an honest review here. So if you guys are interested, this is the deck. And this is a really cool background because all you see in the background when you're shuffling the deck is the White House. And there's a reflection here. So this is really cool. And so I'll just be going a little quickly through the book. That's his Elaine Lee McCoon. And this is her, the tile creator, which is actually really interesting. She put herself on a deck. Which is actually really unique, which I actually did not expect to have. So that's lovely. And then we're going to jump right into the deck. All right, so the first card that comes up is the Priestess of Princess of Wands. And this is Kamala Harris, actually. I think she's a very beautiful way to portray Kamala Harris. She's a very beautiful woman. I don't, I don't think anything negative of this. I really love how you really put Kamala as princess. If anything, I would have suggested a queen, but a princess will just do. Now we have here the Prince of Wand. We have um, the former Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. I don't know if I would necessarily put him on the Prince of Wand, but I mean, it, the coloration, the way the card really looks, I guess in a way, you can kind of really read in like a way, like a very bad ruler, a very bad king, very corrupt. We do have here, um, Michelle Obama as the Queen of Wands. I really love this, the way you portray her in this. It's very beautiful and gorgeous. The coloration is very beautiful. Then we do have here, we do have the King of Wands, which is actually, I did not know, but we have Bill Clinton. Here, right, it's very colorful. We have Bill Clinton. I know that you didn't do the border for this one. And so uh, she's not done yet with the, with the addition. This is, she just gave me this before it was officially finalized. So if you guys don't see the border, it's a little bit different, but it's still the same card. And you can clearly see here Bill Clinton is perfect for the specific card. And so we also have the Ten of Wands. It's a little blurry, this card, I'm not going to lie, it's a little blurry. I would like it to be a little bit more clear, like the rest of the pictures. But yet again, it's still good, a good card. It's about abundance and harvest. But I necessarily don't know what the tower cards necessarily mean. And I'm just taking my intuition and my interpretation of the cards. And so we do have here the Nine of Wands, which is John McCain, the former war hero. And I really like how you put him in as a ghost in the background. This is a very good card, especially when representing Arizona. So that's really cute. We have the Eight of Wands here. Um, we have the Moon. I really think it's really interesting to see how this, you portray this, although I would kind of like recommend a little bit different. Um, I don't know what exactly I would recommend, but maybe something else if in the future when you're making a second edition. It's really cool how you do put um, some of the American achievements in there. We do have Nancy Pelosi at the Seven of Wands. 
she's probably stern, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to interpret this, but she she seems very stern. Like she knows exactly what she's doing, but at any moment she'll whip you with the wand, as you can be clearly see. We have here we have the six of wands, which is George Washington during the colonial era. I really like this. It's very unique, very different. It talks about American history. I really like that. We do have the Father Wands. Um, I know this is really Giuliani, but I'm not sure about the other guy. This is really interesting. Could have really talked about the fire that's going on in the United, United States politics and how dangerous uh, manipulation can really be. I really like how that card is being portrayed here. Now we have the Four Wands. This is a really awesome card. I would normally recommend this as the lover, not necessarily because there's two people in love, but more so it's a great union. And so I would recommend maybe in the future you said you put Obama, Barack Obama and um, Joe Biden as the lover because it's a good union between them. But I mean, it's the perfect four wands here. It's a very beautiful card. It's normally talk about the presidency. And I really like how that is really portrayed. Now we have the three wands here. Um, I don't know my interpretation of this. It's a little weird. I mean, we have Elon Musk with the rocket shooting. I don't know necessarily how to interpret the card. I would probably use a different meaning if you were considering remaking the GAC or modernizing it. That may be satellites. Satellites? He's putting satellites up in the sky. Oh, really? I'm pretty well, sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. sure. Do you think that one day she should probably, instead of Starlink, rocket, Starlink, I think it is. Huh? I think he's doing Starlink. Oh, okay. Do you think that this person would better off be putting like a, a satellite in there? Like a satellite in space kind of thing instead of like a rocket because it kind of gives missed messages? What do you think? I don't know. I, I knew about what he was doing, so that's why I kind of picked up that, I guess. It's just, I did not know that. Then, like I I'm said, not sure if that's what the card means or if that's, but I, I remember hearing that about him. I will say is that I don't know anything about tower cards. I just read them based on my intuition. So my media may not be specifically correct if you ask me. So I just want to put that out there for you guys to know. Um, I don't study the, the tower cards only because I feel like it, it keeps me rigid and I always want to be accurate. And so I don't want to have a rigid mindset. So we also have here, to thank you for your input, Sharon. We have the two wands here. This is very interesting. It talks about the American Revolution, the Air Force, and the beginning of it. These are two farmers. It really refers to the World War II, which I really like. It's very unique how you do the cards. I really like the set of decks so far. We do have here the Ace of Wands. Which, I mean, this is a very beautiful way of interpret interpreting it. It's another rocket. It's showing up and it's going somewhere and you just rise into the top. I really like how this card really portrays that. We do have here the Princess of Sword. I don't know what I exactly would prefer for this. We do have here, um, Sandra Huckabee or whatever her name is. And so she's the Prince of Swords. I don't know if I really want her as a princess. I mean, she looks like a lot of trouble. Maybe, you ha maybe you're trying to take a modern twist to um, the Princess of Stories. So that's a really interesting way to portray it. It's a little bit different. I probably would have used someone different, but then again, this is your interpretation of the entire deck and um, I totally respect that. And it's so nice deck, although you can kind of see this as a very stern ruler, but someone who's willing to corrupt. We do have here, we do have Jerry Kushner, the Prince of Stories. Um, I guess, so you're, you're doing something here with the stories. Maybe you're trying to make it more gloomy and dark. You see here, he in the background with nature, it's all corrupt. It's like the nature cannot survive if he was a ruler. And so that really speaks volumes here, especially with these two. Like if you look in the background of Sandra, you see like almost like a, a hurricane or a tornado going on. And then if you look here, it's kind of like gloomy and dark. And so that's really interesting to see here. I really like how you portray these cards. We do have the Queen of Stories, which I really like because you have Hillary Clinton here, which is really sweet and unique. It's very different, the rightful ruler to um, the presidency who was stolen from. And I feel like this is a good way to honor her the memory of um, a stolen election. I really like how you portray that here. We do have the King of Stories, 
and this is Barack Obama again, I do like, again, um, how you put a president in this position of power, then again, a former president, and this is a great way to portray that. It's like Caribbean, but also give calm, sensuality, and duality, but also, um, there's a lot of calm, as you see here, it's very tropical, when during this time period, people are more in like a relaxed mindset. And I think that's very nice how you portray that. Now we do have the ton of stories here, which I mean, this definitely feels exactly like it. Basically, destruction of the United States, really a betrayal. You have a lot of stories through the American flag, a lot of nuclear bomb fires going on, and a dub here. There's a little sign of hope for America. But I really like how you use this ton of stories. It's very good. A good, a good way of portraying that card. We do have here the nine of stories, then again a tornado, and I really like how you um did that. It's a little different. I mean, it makes it a little bit harder to see the tornado in the background, but it's really nice because it represents a specific location in the United States, and all, all we see here is the Great Plains of the United States. And so it's really interesting to see how you were able to put the Wild West in the 1900s and the early 1800s into this specific card. The Niners Toys is very good. We do have here, oh, I don't, one thing I recommend maybe consider changing where you put your stories. Instead, maybe put it on the fence instead so you can save room, but also make sure that it's not hiding the tornado. There is a specific message that you're trying to portray here. I don't know who this is, but this is the eight of stories. Uh, so we have the presidency again, but the guy hand is tied up. And so it tells me that this is all about corruption. Um, Eight of stories here, I really like. Then again, you did the stories through the fence, like I recommended, it's a really good idea. You can see here that someone's going through an arrest, what they really like, they feel tied behind their back and they can't do much about it. I think this is Jane Comey, if I'm correct. This is stealing information from Russia. You have the Seven of Wands here, very gloomy and dark. I would rather you use like Putin here, trying to steal information from America, which I think is a really unique way of doing it. But then again, Jane, um, this is not James Comey, this is, what's his name? Something with Trump lawyer, I forgot his name. But um, it's really interesting to see how you portray this deck. However, I would rather you use that you put in the Kremlin here is that you use like Putin stealing information or Trump taking information with him. But then again, it would be more so like the White House in the background and Putin taking information. I feel like that's a better way of portraying that specific card. We do have to stick the stories here with Harry Tubman with the two children in a boat. I feel like this is a different portrayal here. I don't know if I would recommend doing that. I really feel like you should put her in, um, I think if I'm, if I'm correct, and don't, and don't quote me on this, but um, I believe that she was the one that was directing people into the tunnel to find the Northern, uh, the northern states, like directing them into the free state so that they can become free. And if I'm correct, I would highly recommend you consider the Lincoln Tunnel, if I think that's what it's called, or the Harry Tubman Tunnel. I don't know what the name is, but if that's true, I would rather you use that than a boat. It's still completely the same meaning, but it's a different way of doing more historical accuracy. If you see here two children, it kind of looks like you're taking the children with you, but you don't know if that's your children or someone else's. I would highly recommend maybe directing the children, like her pointing the way into like, to the free states, like free, where you have like in the corner slave, slavery, and then pointing to the top other corner that says free on here. So you can kind of see that that's what you're going for, going from trouble to smoother, calmer, calmer waters. And that's a better way of portraying that specific card if you are interested in making a second edition. We do have here the five stories, this is New York. We have, um, Trump's lawyers here, like almost like almost like a mafia. I really like how you used it. You portrayed it like a, a New York mafia. It's really unique how you did this. Whew. The four stories here, we do have um, illness and sickness. I really like how you really put this in. It really resembles coronavirus, but I would probably recommend doing more of like an updated version of what a hospital would look like, hospital care, rather than we're going to the 1900s. I don't know what your message is specifically here. But I still like the meaning of the card, but it kind of gives me vibe, probably because I live near a psych center, but it kind of reminds me of like abuse and mentality and stuff like that. So if that's the message you're going for, you did a good job. If you didn't, then maybe I modernized it to more like a coronavirus stance. We do have here, we do have the three of stores, which is basically the children in cages. 
I really like how you portray the cry because it's all about betrayal. You're betraying the kids, taking the children and mothers away from each other. It's a complete betrayal of humanity. And I feel like, I really feel like you nailed the card specifically really well. You do have here the two stories. I don't know who this woman is. I really feel like, um, if anything, Dash Your Liberty would be better for this. And you just take a knife and just have her hold it instead of a random woman that we're not even sure who this person is. I would rather feel like you use American icons to kind of get, bring home what um, the I ideologies that we really stand for. And America is at a crossroad. And I feel like Sash Your Liberty will be great for the specific card. But then again, you do have here um, the, the gun tier making a decision. But I feel like, again, this woman needs to be changed into someone else, like a better American icon. Um, maybe even Marilyn Monroe, but I really feel Sasha Liberty is better for that specific card for the two of stories. We do have here the Ace of Stories, which is really unique because you have James Comey bringing down the law here, and I really like how you did that. And so it just really shows a lot about like the investigation and stuff like that, the Robin Mueller report, and I feel really feel like that's a good thing. I feel like this is a good card overall, so no changes there. Again, guys, this is the border. The border, she's not done with this card, but just so you know, we do have uh, a Banca and a Trump looking at the pentacle here. We have the Princess of Pentacles. And so it really shows you a lot. Like, I really don't like the background. I mean, if you kept Jared and, like, Sandra Huckabee uh, background here, like, really dark and gloomy, why is her peaceful? Are you, like, trying to portray a specific message? I do feel here that um, it almost feels like you're trying to give a bucket, a little witch power. I'm not sure exactly what you're trying to get out here. This card is a lot more confusing than anticipated. I will highly recommend you change it. The Prince, Princess of Pentacles doesn't seem like it's a good meaning for a banca. I it, it normally talk about abundance, but I really don't feel like that's a good meaning for a banca unless you put her head looking down at it. Then I can see like she's all she's focused on is the money. I would definitely say that, but it kind of doesn't portray that specific message at first. We do have here a print of Pentacles. And so we have here holding the money. I really like the way this card is portrayed. It's him holding on to the money, like not letting it go. This is a, then again, this is a really good card. I really feel like it's very dark and gloomy. This is probably the same message you should be putting for a banca. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Nancy Reagan. Just say no. I mean, it's just really flat out says it. I really feel like this is a really good card for that. Just say no to the Trump organization, say no to the Trump everything. But I really like how you portray the card and I think you did a phenomenal job of Nancy Reagan. And who you also you have, you have the King of Pentacles, you also have Ronald Reagan. Tear down that wall with Hollywood in the background. I feel like this is very Oh, it really it tells a lot. It really does. And if you did an amazing job here, I wouldn't change a thing. This also represents um, the Republican Party. And so if anything, if you're doing the Prince of the Pentacle with um, Ivanka, I could see it, but you kind of need to like make her in a way that she's looking at the money, not to focus. But we do have here the King of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is the Kennedy family. family. I don't know. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles, I don't know if I would necessarily see this as um, the Kennedy family. I don't. I think it's a little weird to do this. But then again, you were trying to represent um, the family money, like the family, like the family heritage. But I would kind of, I'm getting more like a message. My spirit guides are trying to tell me here is that maybe the middle class might be a better approach. It would be 1950s middle class and what that would look like and all the money that they had compared to now where we have zero. And so I feel like that would be a better way of portraying that matching. You have the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know exactly what this means. It's giving me very mixed vibes, very confusing. I highly advise that you change it. It's not really giving, if you're making a political deck about America, I don't know if you're trying to go to the Congo or something like that, but we don't have monkeys here and gorillas. And I don't think this is a good card to represent that. If anything, if you're trying to do anything with that, I would recommend guerrilla warfare because that is something that America has done in this revolutionary war and that's how we won. I would prefer uh, guerrilla warfare over a guerrilla with a zookeeper. It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't portray a message in a political deck. You do have here the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is, then again, another great card. It's all about money, 
and not all about money, but all about technology and advancement and how we were able to advance very quickly. I forgot about this guy's name. I don't even know who he is, but I do know who he is. I just, the name's not coming to me. Okay, so we have the seven of pentacles. Use web rum and a census to your teacher. So I don't know if the, I'm not, trying, I'm not sure who this is. Oh, I know who this is. This is the guy who um does like, what's that thing called? Um, Do you know who it is? Look, look at him. I, I, he's not, I, not, the name's not coming to me. Um, yeah, it's hard for me to see the face. It's hard to see. I don't know who this person is, but I know what you're referring to with Rev Rum. It's that little kid that drives in the hallway, and the, the father goes insane and starts killing the whole family, and he's locked in a lock cabin. I probably would have never watched that, but... <laughs> I don't know what it is, but... He, he looks like a famous actor, though, but I can't think of his name either. He's, he's Stephen King. That's what it is. Stephen King. That's what a guy is. So it's really interesting how you portray teachers as Stephen King and using the red bomb. That's the only thing that really gave the guy away. Oh, Stephen King? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now I understand it. I really like this card. I don't think you should definitely change this. This is a really good way of portraying the matches here. Six of Pentacles with Jimmy Carter building the house, the Carter Foundation with helping little children. I feel like this really portrays the great America and what America really stands for and America stands for for building greatness. And I feel like this is a good card to represent that. So don't change that. We do have here the Five of Pentacles, um, the, the Great Depression. I feel like this is another good card for that. It's, the Five of Pentacles it really shows a lot here. It's a strong message. I think I don't think you should change this. This is a good way to portray that specific message. You really drove that message home. You do have this McConnell with the Four of Pentacles holding on to the money. I really feel like this is a good message. I really like the turtle here. You're really trying to put a message here that he's a turtle and that he's very slow. But you see here he's on a fence holding in Pentacles. I feel like this is a good way to portray it. Otherwise, I would have, if I would have changed it a little bit differently, I would have used like him on the White House bench or the seat in the Senate and just hold, withholding like the law on the bottom of each different piece of paper and then put um, Amy, Amy Coney Barrett in the background like him trying to nominate her. And I understand that at the time when you probably made this, Amy Coney Barrett wasn't in the thing yet. So completely completely understand, but you did a great job. And if you're ever considering making a second edition, that's what I would add to this deck, this card specifically. We do have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this is another good way to represent the Three of Pentacles, finding land, a new choice for a new adventure. It kind of brings home Alaska. This reminds me of Alaska a lot. Like a, the choice for Alaska and a Louisiana purchase. This is a good way to bring home the matches. I think he did a phenomenal job with this card. Okay, I would rather you use a more clearer card. I feel like this is a little too blurry. I feel like it's, all the other cards are very clear. I would recommend you kind of stick with that same format. You do have the two of Pentacles. You have Arnold on Schwarzenegger with California Bear in the background. Very unique, very cute. However, this is the two of Pentacles. I would rather you use a more clear picture if you don't mind in the future. Then again, it really drives home the 1960s and the 80s when Arnold Schwarzenegger was a big thing. We do have here the Ace of Pentacles. I don't know who this is or what this house is, but then again, it kind of reminds me of the elite, the, the working elite, the, the elite that uh, the 1% really, and this is a good way to bring that. The Ace of Pentacles, everyone who has all the money. So this is a good way to portray the, the upper class. We have Oprah Winfrey, which is a little surprising. We have um, the Princess of Cups. I don't know why Oprah would be here, but then again, why not? We have the Princess of Cups. It's very relaxing. She's standing in a dress with the dolphins in the background. It's a very beautiful card here, but I don't understand what your meaning is with Oprah. I don't know if you're trying to put her as like the first celebrity to inspire a lot of people and try to gain diversity. I don't know what your purpose here. So I would like some sort of clarity with the card going forward into the second edition. You do have here, you do have Rob Kennedy, the Prince of Cups. And you do have here Phoenix in the background. I feel like it's a good card to represent our donor also. We do have uh, Rob Kennedy. I don't know what you're getting at. 
but I do know you're trying to talk about purity and just let him relax and just eat. I know everything will pass and just make sure you have a passion here. I don't know what you're trying to get out with this, but it's a pretty good card. It has a lot of meetings. I think it's, I think you bless this card for open observation and how you really feel about the card. So I will leave that for open observation. You do have here the Queen of Cups. I don't know who this, oh, this is um, Mrs. Bush, the, the one of the, uh, the idiot who took over in 2000, that one. So this is his wife. And so we do have here, we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like this is a really good way to portray her, but I don't know if she, you will put her in as this specific person only because she wasn't really that well known or not really well talked about. So I don't know if I would normally put someone like this in place. I would probably put like Eleanor Roosevelt instead. Because everyone knows the first lady and I don't, I wouldn't really put Bush in here. I really don't think that really drives home the message. It's just not, maybe Hillary Clinton would be better here because she was a former popular um, first lady. We do have George Bush, the King of Cups. And I do feel like this is a very good way to do it. I mean, it's a little sad with the background of Twin Towers here, him brushing and him painting. I do know he's a, he's a very painter. He loves to paint, but also drives home the 9-11 and when he came in, 9-11 was still here. I mean, the Twin Towers were still here, but not for too long. So it's very sad, but it's a good message to portray. The times were, times were simpler before um, that, that happened. We have the Ten of Cups here, which is all, it's all about family generation, which I really like here. You have the grandma on the, the bench, the father, the children, and the dogs. It really drives home the American dream. Keep this card, I would recommend it. The only thing I would change here would probably just add in like American flag in the post, like in, in one of the ledges here, just to drive home the American dream. So I would definitely keep that here. We do have the Knight of Cups, diversity in the family. We have the, a black father with his son and then a mother and her daughter. It really drives home the, the, um, the idea of American dream it can go for anyone and everyone. And so I really like that idea. I really recommend you keep this deck. Don't change anything about it. You did a phenomenal job when it comes to diversity. We do have here, we do have the Eight of Cups. You have a general walking in front of the White House. I don't know what your message here is, but we do have um, a lot of cups built over. So maybe this is the beginning of a war. But I mean, if that's the case, you did a phenomenal job with that meaning. But then again, I don't know what exactly you're referring to. Okay, so you have the Seven of Cups. This is all about media. I really like this, but I really feel like you should, probably should have used like Fox News or something like that, not whatever this guy is. I don't know what, you know what this guy is? You see him? I know he's a popular right wing um, person for Trump. I don't know what his name is, but I kind of feel like Fox News would be better. Like even put like the name of where he's from, potentially. But, um, then again, great way to portray the media card. I think you did a phenomenal job with this. You do have the six of cup, the hippie, the hippie time, where everything was peaceful during the Vietnam War. You did a phenomenal job. I just don't understand people in dresses. I know that was a different time period, but then again, I had no idea, but it's a little weird of a message. I would probably put like a jukebox in here, um, maybe some marijuana and flowers and whatnot. But either a phenomenal job, maybe like put like a sign that says um, the protest, when people were protesting against Vietnam War, that would be a good card. Like maybe put a little bit of that sign on the floor representing that specific time period it would be a good match. And going forward, it would represent protesting in the United States for doing the right thing. And you have to hear the Father Cup with Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War. Good message here, very good. It, it talks about the divisiveness in American politics. This is very good. He's standing in the midst of two sides and in terms of trying to bring the union together, trying to keep it up, a hold. We do have here Mike Pence, the four cups, the refusal of an offer of the presidency, which is actually funny, but a little confusing. I, know, I don't know if Trump will ever hand him the presidency willingly. So I don't know if this card will really represent exactly what that means, if anything. I would probably put like um, the vice presidency, the chances are they don't get it. And I think that's what you're trying to drive here is that they never really get the presidency. Cause you do have on the cow here. Um, oh, can you see it? You see the cow, you have the little, uh, the White House seal. So I do, I do see that you're trying to say to like 
cause Freya Mastery that defies pregnancy is normally never being able to give in the pregnancy. And so with that being said, I really feel like it's a good mastery, but I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like there might be some state change that, that's needed. You have here the three of cups. I don't really understand that the three of cups here is very confusing. I would highly recommend you maybe you consider using something else. You do have um Cole Barrett here, but I don't know. I don't know what your match is here. Do you not understand what this means, Sharon? Are you getting anything from this? Not really. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the, me the card meaning is. Maybe I would recommend changing it going forward. We do have here the two of cups, which is all about the wild west. And the two of cups, a union, a marriage between two people. However, I would recommend maybe potentially adding another deck into it, another version of the card, which is about gay marriage. I would maybe recommend doing that because it's a big milestone in American politics and American history. And so that's about two unions who were very forbidden and now is allowed to become one union. And I think that would be a better way of portraying a specific card. So, but then again, I will try to refrain from using too much of the Wild West, maybe potentially consider using the colonial age too. I think colonial America is also a very good time for America because that's the beginning, that's the birth of America. But I think the Wild West, although it has a very um, good significance in American history, I do feel like colonial age is where it all started and where it all began. We do have here the Ace of Cups. I do like this card, but I don't know what you're trying to get here. Maybe like the message is to no longer be in the cave but to be free and if that's your matches you really drove you really drove that home to being given the freedom to um be you i really like that if that's your matches you do a phenomenal job we do have here the world here the native americans um really taking care of the world i really feel like this is a good way of portraying that the native americans they are the center of the world they are what that they're very spiritual at the core. I really like how you did this. Don't change the card. Do you have judgment here? You have an angel coming in with um, a person who was a former slave breaking the change and going into freedom. This is a good way to do it. However, I would recommend maybe consider using Harriet Tubman in here instead. Or like people being prosecuted for the crime they committed. That would be also a good way of doing judgment. I feel like it could be both ways. However you want to do the card in the second edition, I would definitely recommend advising it, like editing that so that people have two different versions of judgment cards and whatever the one they want to use. But however, you did a good job with that, although I would probably use a little something different here. We do have here the sun. I don't know why this girl is walking on the water. <laughs> I don't know what the interpretation here is, but also I see the American dream. But I feel like you have too many cards that represent the American dream here, so I don't know what you're trying to refer. I would probably, probably see like the good days in America when we did what's right for the American people, and I would be more like um, um, Social Security, making sure that they have benefits, making sure that they can go to school or without having to pay too much. I feel like this is the time in America, but I don't know if walking on water is a good way to portray that. So I would highly recommend you consider changing the sun in the future. Or you're trying to look at the American greatness in the 1950s, but one thing I would definitely say, the American 50s were not any time in American greatness. It was manipulated, and people were diluted to believe that the 50s were the greatest time in American history. It really wasn't. It was just portrayed in the media like that. We kind of dream about that specific area, but I would recommend going forward changing it. We do have the moon here, the Jane Comey letter. It's being hidden right now. I feel like this is a really good way to message it. And something that's about to be re revealed. I really like that. Don't change it. You have the star here, Sasha Liberty again. I will recommend, um, I don't really want to recommend anything else. I feel like it's a good way to bring home the message of American Liberty and what it really stands for in America. This is a good way to portray it. Okay, this is my favorite card in the deck my favorite. Uh, so we do have here the tower, crashing down the Trump Tower. And so this is a really interesting way of portraying it. I would not change the thing. I think going forward, this should be your deck for the tower. And so the Trump Organization, but also the incumbent going down. This is a good way to do it. Now you have Steve Bannon here. This is really interesting ways to perceive the devil. 
I would probably recommend like David Duke instead or um, Richard Nixon as uh, the devil, but instead you, you see bad and it's a little weird. Um, Cause you do have the KKK in the background. You do have people laying down. I would probably recommend in the future to use it as like a white supremacist potentially or the Confederate here. They put like someone in there with the Confederate flag and the KKK to kind of drive home the message of um, the devil. Like people believe in that. Also you could put in like QAnon if you wanted. These are some ideas to think of if you were considering about in the future changing the devil card. You do have here temperance, another Native American card. It's all about calm, helping earth, calm, comedy, and just helping animals. You know, I really like this card. It's talked about Native Americans in the time before the colonial days began. I think this is a really good card. I recommend you keep that. Okay, so we have death here. I don't know what this, I don't know. We have the KKK here on a horse coming in with the Confederate flag. It um, represents the death card. I don't know what rapid rebirth or transformation necessarily mean. Uh, I will, this is a little bit of a confusing message. I would highly recommend you change it. Maybe like a transition of power potentially instead where two presidents hand over one power to the other during inauguration day, I would recommend that would be a good way of a portraying a death card rather than the KKK. I feel like this is not a good message for this. It's rebirth, it's almost like you're asking for white supremacy to go arise. And that's a, that's a transition of rebirth here. But I want some opinion. So Sean, what do you think about this specific card? Yeah, I think I agree with what you said. Um, I mean, it's nice, but it's probably not the right it doesn't, unless you don't want it to be transformation you know and I'm, I'm, i didn't read the descriptions of those cards but in a lot of decks it means transformation too but that doesn't seem like transformation to me it's more like rebirth like a rebirth of white supremacy i'm not sure what the meaning here yeah. i mean it could be it could be a good meaning in the essence of Talking about the KKK, the revival, that could be a good way to mean it. But then again, maybe I will probably put that in the backbone for now. Maybe put this as the second edition, but in the first edition, change it. I don't think it has a really good meaning in terms of the death card. I would, I would advise maybe there'll be a change of the death. And, or you can even, and I hate to say this is really dark here, but you could even use the assassination of JFK and then, um, Lyndon B. Johnson being sworn in as president, there's a transformation of power to death. You have the death meeting here, you also have to transfer power and rebirth in the nation. And so you can have all that here with that specific card. If you ever considering that, I would highly recommend changing it. Maybe moving um, the picture into a different card deck meeting, like a different card meeting. I don't really think this drives at home. She could also mean the death of the KKK. That's true. Is the death of what that stands for. Death of, um, the death of the, the white supremacy, but I don't know because right now I'm trying to, I'm thinking this is more like the political deck in this current time period. I wouldn't really say white supremacy is dying right now. I think it's on the rise, if you ask me. Well, but hopefully it'll be dying. Hope, I hope everybody's going to come together and be one, mm -hmm. united together. I mean, I feel, like the, I feel like it needs to be in a specific meaning, you know what I mean? Like a different... 2020, we shouldn't even have that anymore. No, we shouldn't, but then again, this is a young country, but that's not an excuse. We're modern times now. Okay, so... Okay, so funny how I mentioned JFK, because the next card that comes up is The Hanged Man, The Assassination, assassination of JFK in Dallas, Texas. I don't know. Then again, I feel like that should be the death card here. And I feel like the white supremacy should be the hanged man. Like swap them. Like put the, the hanged man in the hanged man position with the death, with the KKK and then put the KKK in the death card. Like change, swap the meaning. And then you'll, you'll have a better meaning. What do you think, Sean? I'm a little confused of swap. Okay, so take this picture. Take this yeah. picture and put it in the hanged man card. And then take the hangman picture and put it on the deck card. Oh, that's the hangman? This yeah, the card hangman is JFK. Assassination. Oh, yeah, that didn't, I didn't get that either. No, I, I didn't pick up the hangman energy. I, 
I didn't pick, so I don't know what she means to mean by the hangman, but I didn't pick that up as a hangman. I think the assassination would be better for this, it's like a transfer, transfer, transformation, of this, it's a rebirth in the United States, and then the hangman would be more better fitting for the white supremacy. Yeah, and, and sometimes the hangman is like, you know, hold, wait, mm-hmm. you know, like things can't move forward, it's just like hanging in the balance, so. I definitely see that here. Or even like the, ju- the court, and we also have the gestures, of course. Okay, so we have, um, Kavanaugh here with the Supreme Court Justice. I don't know if I would really like this here at the Supreme Court Justice, him representing justice. I think Ruth Gator Ginsburg would be better fitting for this. Yeah. As an honor, I think for the second edition, replace Kavanaugh with Ruth Gator Ginsburg. Because she really represents what it means to be a justice. So I would highly recommend you change that. We do have here America First. Alternative fact, the Wheel of Fortune. This is all about um, the fate of the nation and um, I guess manipulating facts. And I think that's, I think this is a good way to portray that message. I don't know, what do you think, Sharon? I'm a little conflicted on this. The Wheel of Fortune here. Who are, who's in those pictures? I can't. We have Roger Stone and some random white woman. Um. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't portray the message correctly. I think. Yeah, I'm not picking up the way the wheel of fortune would mean to me because I think it could be karma, but I don't. I don't think that, the fact or misinformation is karma. You know what I mean? That you you don't deserve to be fed misinformation. You know what I mean? Maybe I would recommend something different. Yeah, I mean, if her book has a different meaning, maybe like we haven't read the book, maybe she's yeah. not meaning it that way. But if you read them as a tarot card, then I would say I didn't pick up the I I felt like what you said it's more like looking at um make you know make America great again that kind of and so we don't need to be so critical but we do want to give you advice because we like the way the deck is going we do have great potential we do want to help you if you guys are interested in the deck it does come with a guidebook so you guys can find out the meeting we just wanted to throw in our um interpretation of the card without having our bias be judged by this uh, guy book. Yeah, it's a beautiful deck though. It is I mean, a very beautiful deck. It's very pretty. I don't know, we have the hermit here, it's a little weird. Um, I'm not saying it's weird, like I'm not saying it's a bad deck. I don't know if it really would represent Bernie Sanders as the hermit. Mm, he's so outgoing, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, I mean, maybe you could put like the vice pipe. I also the- look at that card as a treason card, I told you, the hermit. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like a good a good person that would be here would be like a vice president, someone who's in the shadows of a president he's not really cared about. You know what I mean? Or like you could even do um what to call it? You could even put um Andrew Johnson, the first president in United States history to be uh, even a vice president who also happened to be the first impeached president. So you can even put that here with treason. <laughs> So, that one, of my, one of my books says that, so I do use that card for certain times. I, you know, I, I, think, I think she's trying to put here the method of healthcare. Yeah, and also it's the card of going within. It's, you know, spiritual. It's, you know, it's got a lot of different meetings. The hermit well, card, but. Meeting here, but I'll probably put Bernie Sanders at something else. Maybe like temperance, helping people with health care, that'd probably be a better way of doing yeah, it. I don't I don't see him as a hermit, but I don't know how she meant to portray it. Like I see him as like out there. Like Yeah, I feel like he's out there. He's very popular. He's not hidden in the shadows. This would even be a better card for Miss McConnell, if anything. He's in the dark, no one really knows what it, what he's slimy. He's slimy, he's sneaky about the things he does. This would probably be a better way of doing the hermit. What do you think? You think Miss McConnell would be better? I don't know about Mitch either. Hmm. Someone sneakier than that. <laughs> um, oh, well, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would say Vladimir Putin, but they all kind of flat out say what they're doing. So I really don't know what to put there. I, yeah, think that's I can't think right now, but. I feel like it's up for debate. I don't know, it's a little weird. We do have Elizabeth Warren, never she persisted. Nevertheless, she predicted, persisted. 
We have some trends here. I don't know if you really want to put it in a, a type of dress like this. It kind of puts it back into the patriarchy days where women were forced to wear a specific outfit like this. I don't know if this really puts home the idea of strength, if anything, use her current outfit and say that she wears whatever it is that she wants to wear and not because patriarchy told her to. I would kind of like move away from the colonial time using modern day people. I don't really think it's a, a correct message to use specifically for the strength card. What do you think, Sharon? I think it's a pretty card, but I've never seen her in a dress. I've only ever seen her in pants, so I don't know. I, I don't know either, but I don't know. If you look at the outfit, it kind of reminds you colonial, right? It just doesn't really fit the time period. Like, it doesn't really show strength here, especially if you're wearing something from the colonial time period, especially when it was a time where women were told that they're inferior. I don't know if that would be a good method to portray. You know what I mean? She's almost like ahead of her time. Yeah. Because she wants something that's more progressive. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good interpretation of this. Ahead of your time, potentially. It's all about strength. Yeah, like, you know, that's what I would think of her. Mm. Elizabeth Warren trying to... Really push forward a, a new method for a message yeah. for America. That's a good idea. Again, we have another cowboy. We have the chariot. I think this is a good way. The Wild West, moving into the California gold, the chariot. And this is a good way to message it, really bring about the, um, I guess, what is it? You know, where you move out east or so west or something. You know what I'm talking about. We do have here the lovers card. I don't know if this is a weird lovers card. But then again, it makes sense. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I mean, you have a diversity here, and then you do have a cop in the background with the lovers. I don't know, maybe it's, I mean, like I said, you know, gay marriage with the lovers card and using the love, gay marriage as the lovers, people who were not allowed to be in union together. And now it's a big, a big thing in America. Now they're allowed to be in union. It's against the law. So I guess here back in the 60s, it was against the law for a person of a different color to marry a white person. So I think it's a good way to message the lovers card. It's a little darker than most cards normally are for the lovers, but then again, it really drives home that message of American history, and I think you did a phenomenal job with that. What do you think, Sharon? Yeah. Yeah. The higher fan. We had um, Martin Luther King. He was all about the gospel and the church and stuff like that, but also about uh, black rights and stuff like that, the civil rights movement. This is a good way to represent the higher fan. However, I would probably do a little something different. I don't know exactly what I would do for Martin Luther. But maybe just put in like I have a dream and him standing in front of all these millions of people saying I have a dream and that with the spark of the higher friend. But I feel like the higher friend influences influences a lot of people. And so also this my card of government. I don't know if he's really up all about the government here, he's all about faith. Uh, I do know the the higher friend is also about the he's a pope here, if you really use the real interpretation, but um okay. I would definitely see, I would definitely put here, like, him standing, I have a dream speech. I feel like that's more, like, insp inspirational than two kids. You know what I mean? What do you feel? What card would you put him in? No, I would keep him in this card, but I would change the picture, like, him putting, like, the higher friend. Like, I have a dream speech. And as you see in the background, like, crowds of people chanting for Black Lives and, like, civil rights movements. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, yes, let me see the card one more time. I'm trying to see the background. Well, maybe, is that, is there a ground, like, coming, is he coming in, like, to the new world or something? Like, no. Plant? It's just him laying down on the rock with a Bible in his, in his lake. Oh, a Bible on the lake. Teaching the, ch oh, teaching the, teaching everyone to be, like him would be a good thing. I remember when I was little, I was so upset when he was killed. I know. It was like very traumatic for me. I don't know why I didn't know anything about politics, but that was upsetting. I thought he really was gonna give us what he said. I, I had a dream that, or that the home, the hallmark of why you remembered who he is, so I had a dream speech. No, I, I always, he had a dream and the dream was what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And I was little and he just, painted what I wanted, peace on earth. And, and I, 
And when he was killed, it was traumatizing to me. Mm -hmm. and you I also think about it now, like it was just one of my things when I was little. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how old that was, but I wasn't that old. I mean, I'm 63, so I don't know how long ago that was, but. Would you recommend that she keep the picture, like don't change it, or you think she should change it? What do you think? I think either way works, but. Well, he did influence me as a child. I don't, I don't know like how she's portraying it. Well, I would, well, I mean, like, then again, uh, my, I have a dream speech influences every child in America now, you know what I mean? And so I kind of see, like, that would be a good, even, even if you don't know what you care, that would be even a good way to say it affects people from all different races, not just one particular race. But I'm saying, like, he did affect the, um, the African-American race because he really motivated them to start fighting for what they really deserve. But also, I think it also, until this day, he's one of the more core movements of the Black Lives Matter movement and stuff like that. So I think he's the start of many revolutions going forward in American history. So I think even I had a dream speech, it's even a good thing. Yeah, I think he was trying to create oneness mm -hmm. and he got stopped. Mm -hmm. he, you know? he was killed. I think he was, I think he was killed by JFK, but we're not going to talk about that. I kind of want to start speaking to this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. God, I, I don't know. I was upset when JFK died, too. I thought he was going to do something good, too. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. We have the emperor. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Is that a picture of him as a woman? No, but it would be funny if he was. Oh, because I saw one today, and really, he really looked like the vision I had. Why did he really look like a woman? But In I that picture, he kind of does from far away. Yeah, we do have here the emperor. The two sides of him in the mirror. He's got more than one side, that's why. Yeah, and the constitution. I feel like it was all about corruption. There's a different twist to the, uh, the emperor card. Although I would change a little bit, but I also like the way it is. I probably wouldn't change anything. What, you, what, about, what about you? No, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think so too. We do have Melania, the empress. I don't really know if that's the right meeting to put her in. Kind of like, it's kind of like almost like disrespectful to the Empress a bit. We do have here her with a bird. Yeah, I no. Know, really no, I, I, I don't see her as that, but that's just my opinion. I don't know if anything, I really don't see her as the Empress. I don't know what I would see her as. But I mean, also she had like, if you look here, like um, handcuffs, but like it's broken. So I don't know what your message here with the, the empress. I think the empress is very spiritual, um, a high woman who knows right from wrong. Did you have here a bobcat? But I don't understand any of those references. I don't know what you're trying to get out here. She's really not a woman who is, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't say like she's not respectful for the United States, but I would say that her, her loyalty probably does not reside with the United States, but rather her home country, if that makes any sense. But I don't see the specific card meaning. I don't know what exactly you're trying to refer here. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe I do see in here the dress here. I'm seeing like Miss Universe potentially. But really, let's act. Is she really the universe of our world? No, we barely talk about her. We all think she's going to get a divorce. <laughs> so I don't know. If anything, I would rather see the Empress card or her planning a divorce paper with Donald. That would be I'd better. rather see her in an army suit like she was wearing. <laughs> oh, I don't care, do you? And she did that on purpose, by the way. Okay, do we have the high priestess here? Vote for women. Forward into the light. I would highly recommend, first of all, change the font here. It's a little hard to read. Make it so that it's easier to read. This specific card, it says forward into the light. I don't know, I would definitely use something different. We do have here the high priestess, both for women, women's rights and stuff like that. I think the better idea of using this is when, in that picture of the 1930s, where they have a picture of a woman with an arm like this. I feel like that's the better way of portraying the high priestess. Women who know their position of power and that they never, never think more inferior if they think as a superior, someone who is equal. What do you think? Who is that on the, what is it? I, it says. Woman's rights. Well, to me though, the high priestess is someone that's very evolved and knows, mm -hmm. you know, knows, knows a lot of, 
spiritual, yeah. Well, do you and, think that's like the, the correct meaning? You, would you change anything? Would you keep that? I guess for a mundane part, the mundane part of it's there, so. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I can't, if you probably, if you meditate on each card, you'll get what she's portraying in there. Mm. So she does have a meaning for each card. We just have to meditate on it or, but I mean, I think it's good that you give feedback because she's going to make another deck and then you can always give, you're giving her good feedback, but. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. I, I like the card. I'm definitely going to use it. So thank you so much for giving me this. I really appreciate it. We do have here the Magician. I really like the way this card really came out, like the, the fool here. But Balance. Balance. I would think it's going to be a Putin like being used as a Magician. I think I think you should think that. about it. Huh? That's exactly the puppet. Yeah, I really don't think that she should change the deck at all. And then we do have here the polling place. I don't know. I feel like a better yet, a Karen would be better for this card than a white male with a, I don't know. I feel like a Karen would be better. And no offense to anyone who's following me who's named Karen, we're just talking about women who want to call a manager. You see this, it's like the going out of the polling place and the card represents the fool. I don't know what your message here with the fool is. Like, the fool voted for Trump or a fool for voting. I'm not sure what your message here is, but I do understand that you want to call Trump supporters a fool, which I completely understand. So I like that meeting in the card. What do you think, Sharon? Um, I kind of don't get it, but as, I mean, the fool's, I mean, he's walking off the edge. It's leaving a voting booth. And they voted. voted. You voted, you're walking away, right? Yeah, but you're voting. Are... But who's the fool? I don't know. I feel like the fool is um anybody that it... I feel like it's Trump supporters. I feel like that's what they're trying to get out of here. The fool is a Trump supporter for believing Trump. Maybe that's maybe that's interpretation of it. Don't know, <laughs> but otherwise it's like if you're voting, it's almost like you vote and then you well, I guess if you vote, you go off into the unknown. The fool is kind of stepping off the cliff into the unknown and starting something new. Mm -hmm. So maybe after you vote, you're starting something new. That's right. And you're walking off and you don't know who's going to win. So you're going to it's be like, in the okay. unknown for a while like we are right now. <laughs> yeah. I feel like also um, the fool card for me really represents like um, the blue wave and stuff like that. And so that's really interesting. Do you want to do a little read, a quick reading with this and then we'll end, end this reading? Yeah. Okay. So guys, if you guys are interested in the deck, you can guys can check the description below and you, it's right now being sold for $35 and the, the original price will be $45 when um the deck is Final. So I highly recommend you put some money in if you guys are interested in this deck.